concept of money to our kids is a critical life skill to help them learn the value of saving and managing their money. Our next guest shares an age by age guide to help us out. And that guest, of course, you know and love him, private wealth advisor with Ameriprise Financial, Trevor Shakiba. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And this is so critical because the habits we develop as children carry into adulthood. Let's talk about your first point. And this is really delaying gratification, not just buying it the moment we want something. Yeah, you know, we got so much great feedback from last week's mm -hmm. segment. I thought, let's go a little bit deeper and get more detailed and get age specific. And so your, for, your first point is right on. And look, gratification delay, which basically means you can't buy everything you want immediately. That's a difficult concept, not just for kids, but for everyone. Yeah. So what I said here is, is Look, wait and save up, especially for kids, see if you still want it, and then potentially go ahead and buy it. And my activity is to set an achievable goal. So the key word here is an achievable goal to buy a special toy or whatever, save up for it, and then celebrate the success, which is critical with young kids, right? Ages three to five, celebrate and have fun. Absolutely, and putting some fun to it creates the learning environment a little bit safer, right? right. They like Absolutely. that. Um, moving on to the next age group, it's six to 10, and that basically is where you wanna start those smart spending habits. Yeah, so how do you spend your money, right? So the thing here is, is you want to convey that money just doesn't grow on trees. So it's- It doesn't? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I talk to my wife, Christina, about this sometimes <laughs> as well, but it's finite, it's not infinite. So once you spend it, it, it's not uh, automatically going to replenish itself. So you need to keep that in mind. My activity here is maybe give them some money, whether it's in the store or a grocery store, and have them go, for example, and purchase the fruit or something like that. Now, if they take $25 and they go to the or organic section and buy the most expensive Rainier cherries, and that's all you get, there's a lesson to be learned yes, there absolutely. about maybe spreading it out a little bit further. And I think, too, when it's their money, they think about it differently Absolutely. as opposed to mom, dad, uncle, sister, you know, when yeah. it's someone, when they're actually saying, oh, I've got to, I got to give that away. I don't know if I want that so bad anymore. Exactly. Yeah, that's a great point. And Trevor, before we get to the next point, you were just saying that w about what age you start having your child do this money thing, like six to 10 years old? Well, for that, yeah, for that example, but just like we talked about before, I was shocked on the studies that we referenced about how early you need to start talking about money and giving giving them some responsibility. But in that last example, ages six to ten. Okay, got it. Now you recommend uh, that we all start saving as soon as possible. But this is a skill that when we, we do the math and we do the compound interest, you're saying that from like age, ages eleven or older, yeah. that's when they can really do the math on compound interest. Right, eleven to thirteen, because you don't want to you know make it too complicated, and then all of a sudden it becomes boring. You don't want to talk about money again going back to what you said about making it fun so what I'm talking about here is, is the time value of money the sooner you get started the more you're gonna have basically compounding interest this is the miracle what Einstein calls the eighth wonder of the world look compound interest is what builds wealth and, and what it is is you earn money on what you saved but you also earn money on the interest that you earn and then it continues to go right so the activity here is do the math with them and then have them do the math so they can see if you get started soon and if you wait what what that equates to the earlier the better the exactly. more money your interest will add up always. to. always okay let's move on to the next group which is 14 to 18 and this is all about analyzing their next stage of life which is college yes the cost of college yeah and this is a big one for me you don't just want to go to college and it doesn't matter how much it costs you just go right you got to think through this right and you're trying to convey maybe a, a more advanced concept which is return on investment so show them how much money you have right it could pay for one year of college maybe it could pay for all years of college you could use it as a down payment of the house things like that will really help them understand it so what I put here for the activity is project out the future student loans and the debt payments mm. so they can understand what it could be going to all right another uh, college topic credit cards that's a time when let's say someone moves off to college suddenly they have this credit card and they think oh wow everything is free yeah. but this is where a lot of people get into big big trouble yeah so that's a dangerous recipe there where you're 18 or 19 and they're giving out all these different potential get a free t-shirt for signing up for a credit card yeah. that kind of thing so what you want to convey here is is only charge those responsible things because I actually think it's a good idea to get a credit card but you've got to 
pay that off every, every month, month, right? So it's easy to get caught up here, and just a few small bad decisions mm -hmm. can impact your credit score yeah. significantly. So my activity here is, is review the credit cards together with your kids, understand what are appropriate charges, but then also start, start, start conveying cash reserve and, and having that liquidity and that cushion and start trying to build towards that. Yeah, build your credit score. Don't take it down because of a few silly mistakes. Absolutely. Trevor, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was great information. And for more information on financial planning or to schedule a complimentary initial consultation with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, you can do so at 281-724-9917 or simply visit them online, theshakibagroup.com. Always great to see you, Trevor. Thank you.